Living in the 21st century means that we can do remote photo shoots without all of my studio equipment. The only thing I need is my computer and an internet connection. Of course, that's a very overly simplistic view of a virtual photo shoot versus being in person. There are massive differences and one of them is the quality reduction. If you're not there with a DSLR, the images that you are finally producing will of course be much lower resolution. But there are a lot of benefits to the shoot and a lot of fun to be had. So we're gonna talk about some of the pros and cons as we go through a photo shoot with Louise in the Netherlands and me in Portugal. Okay, hello, lovely. Hi. We're using your phone right now, right? Yeah. At the beginning of the shoot, you may also want to ask your model to turn their phone onto silent or to turn all notifications off. That way they give you your complete attention without getting distracted by notifications coming in. So some logistics, how are you currently propping your phone up? With an empty bottle of wine. That's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> In one of our previous videos, we'll put a link on the screen somewhere. We have shown how to make one of these, which is a cardboard phone prop, which may be a little bit more stable for your phone than Louise's wine bottle. I'm going to start you on that beautiful gray wall. Obviously, a remote shoot means that you're not there in person to do a location scout, but if you can do a little precursor location scout, perhaps walking around somebody's room where they are talking to you on FaceTime or Skype before your photo shoot, that will help you work out where you're going to shoot your photos. With Louise, it was very easy. She just moved into an apartment and therefore everything was already in boxes and we were using this gray wall that she was going to paint over. That backdrop is gonna be wild. Okay. Obviously, you are not present as a photographer and so you are relying on the model to make sure that they are secure and safe in the environment that they are in. It's very easy for a model to become distracted and engaged with you, i.e. a camera in front of them, but not actually pay attention to what's around them. So please remind your model at the beginning of your shoot to just do a little bit of a check around them as to what's in their environment, how close they are to walls, how close they are to sharp furniture, so that perhaps they don't come into contact with them in an unfortunate way during your shoot. Okay, we're golden. And in fact, stay where you are. And I'm going to literally take the first, if I can remove my camera, I'm going to see if I can just take my camera off. The software that we were using didn't allow me to remove my face from the screen. So every time that I press print screen, obviously my face was also in the corner. I could turn off my video, but sadly that wasn't enough to take away the window of my face. So that would have to be removed in Photoshop later. There are software out there, I think Zoom is one of them, that allows you to do a full screen without your face being on the same monitor. Yeah, we'll live with that. Look straight at the camera for me. I'm gonna test this uh, and look, yeah, perfect. Let me see if that worked. I'm going to just do some copy and paste my side. I just need to know technicalities if it's working. And it is, actually, that's fantastic. So I'm going to now direct you around a little bit, just exactly where you are. So right. I want you to turn your left shoulder to the wall. Yeah, bit more. And then I want you to rotate your head a little bit more to the window. Yeah, perfect. Don't forget when you are giving directions to your model using a virtual photo shoot, all of your directions are kind of the reverse. So if you're telling your model to go right, it's really their left. What you might want to do is to put post-it notes on your monitor with directions of left, and right reversed so that you keep in mind what directions you're giving your models in front of the camera.
Shit, I want the most serious face you've got. There'll be no laughing in this in this photo shoot. No laughing oh, is allowed oh. at all. <laughs> I really like. I keep telling you, this isn't a fun shoot. God damn it, see? Stop making me laugh. I can't. <laughs> You're not helping with the serious No. Do you know where the camera actually is on your phone? I think it's in the middle. Okay. It's, yeah. Yeah. There's the little dot. Perfect. When you start your shoot, it may be a good idea to run through some logistics with your model. For a start, perhaps get them to find out where the camera is on their phone. It's very easy for somebody to look at themselves on the monitor rather than the camera, which may be just slightly above their face appearing on their own screen. So getting them to take their finger and putting their finger over their camera um, on the phone allows them to see where the camera actually is and make sure that they are always giving you a good eye contact and getting the pictures that you need from them. Okay, great. As you are taking photos through a phone, the exposure is going to be taken out of your hands. It also exposes for what's in front of it. So bear that in mind when you choose your composition and the colors and clothing that you choose. We're a little bit photogenic, do you know that? This is very easy. You are making this very easy for me. The phone is not, however. I quite like how your hands were just dropped down there. Can you drop your hands down again and then push yourself back just a little bit further back? Again, you're shooting through a phone. So the focus will also be taken care of by the phone itself. When thinking about your composition, if you have something really bright in your frame, like a piano, it will focus on that first because it's the brightest thing in your image before the face that perhaps you want focused on. I've got several for a very nice. Oh, look, that's perfect. Of course, because you're not in the space yourself physically and you don't have access to things that you would do ordinarily in your studio, you are going to have to get creative. So if you want a model to be a little bit taller, a pile of books, a box, something that they can rest on, be creative and see what's around in their environment. Perfect. Okay, so that's put you up high enough. During this shoot, you can hear me say one, two, three, click. And it's really because I don't want Louise to blink. And because of the delay between the phone and me saying click, often there is that blink moment happening if you don't count it down and say click. I see, I like that. One, two, three, click. Is that a good height? Yeah, that's gonna work. Okay. And now for a musical interlude. No, in seriousness, I get Louise to do a bit of a musical interlude because she had just moved the phone, moved her environment, moved everything around in order to be in this position. So I wanted her to give a little bit of time to relax, catch her breath and not think about anything for a while. So it was a good way of pausing and giving us both a little bit of space. <laughs> Hi, if you're liking this video, please can you hit the subscribe, like and notification bell. That way you will get to hear first when new videos come out. There, perfect, thank you. You naturally did all the beauty shots that I would normally do in a studio. Ha ha ha. And you <laughs> So now I want you to stay exactly where you are. And I want you to shake your head from left to right as fast as you can without throwing up. Right, is the wall very far behind me? No, we're good. Okay. No, you're not going to smack your head on the wall, I promise. I wasn't sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on the count of three. One, two, three, go. Okay, stop. <laughs> In this part of the video, what you can see here is the restrictions of the software. Remotely, I'm unable to address my shutter speed or be able to put on a high priority shutter click mode. So I can only capture one image per time.
time that she shakes her head and I can't control when I'm going to capture that because obviously there's a lag in where the video comes into me and so I'm guessing it and playing it by ear as to when I captured this shot. But all in all, it's a fun shot to try and it always lightens the mood up in a photo shoot. With the, uh, with the, oh, okay, yeah, it might do. I'm just hoping that it'll ho help with the exposure, but we'll see. You're like ridiculously photogenic. Ugh. Up slightly, stop down 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 and then bring your hands um on an angle pivoted from your little fingers let me show you if you can see the screen now so you're here i want you to pivot your hands out slightly that stop stay there don't move and if you are like i will allow you to smile but just once only once there we go that's it stop um I quite like those glasses. Um, can you drop your face down so we don't see the reflection of the window? Okay, and then push yourself forwards a bit. A crypt of pine smelling sickly sweet. Paw prints resting on white concrete. I know he's been. If you've run a virtual photo shoot, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. Tell us how you did it, what software you used. Please hit the like, subscribe and notification bell on the channel so that you get to know when these videos come out first.